morning everyone it's february 21 2023 9 in the morning market just opened and i'm looking at jd right here jd looks like a good gap down here still trending lower um also hun so looking at jd hun ALS is the gap up and atnm
So I'm just long bias in Apple. Like everything is popping. Spy as well as the rest of the stats, like Nvidia, all mostly all the tech stocks are bouncing. So I'm long bias on this stock, and that's why I'm just building a position right here. I didn't want to trade um, JD again just because for me right now it's a bit overextended. So my stop loss right here is going to be this 150.24. So I'm using the 5 minutes here. The lowest in the 5 minutes is 150.25. Qs are very strong, so this is already working. 150. Taking some partial here. Moving my stop loss above higher than my break even. And let's see. 157. Okay, got me stuck out there. JD has a little bit of a pullback right here. Volume is dying in the JD. Shorting, shorting JD right here. Adding to my position. Stop loss is 48.6. This one is already working. So this one is a very cut down. So this could have been just profit takers. Taking some partial here. I'm not so sure about this trade. So very aggressive with partial all out. A lot of bids here, very bearish here. Reshorting this one. Pretty a lot of um, bids here. Adding to my position. Stop loss is 48.63. So that's also the high of this. 48.66, giving some. Spy. Spy is really pushing higher right here. We're now below the VWAP or sorry, below the moving average, the 90 MA. So very short bias here. This is waiting for a break of the VWAP, taking some partial. Moving my stop loss lower than my break even. Trailing my stop here. Don't want this one. Expect a bounce in the VWAP. So even if I get stop out, I'm okay with this. But right now, it's still working in my favor. So looking at this one, 47.95, 94. So we're still stocking up with the bid. Um, so yeah, just trailing my stop here. And perfect. So yeah, all out. So done with the trade. So I am finished with the trade. This one still has the potential to go down, but I am done with the trade. So just a 15 minute stay trading and that's, we don't have to have, you know, stick in our monitor 24 seven or eight hours a day. As long as you get to see the pattern, then you're able to monetize on that and profit on that. So for today, let me just do a recap. So what I did was I actually opened my computer late. I opened it like two minutes before 9.30. So my trade was a bit of, um, I just sticked to this three thicker symbol, JD, AMD, and Apple. Did not have time to look at the other stocks. What I just saw was uh, JD was in the gap down. So that one was in my top list right here. And then um, AMD and Apple, those are my go-to every time I don't have any setups. So what I saw with JD, just this is the top one in the gap down. And the way I see that is in my gap down, this is JD right here. JD has a gap of the highest one, which is 4.8. So that's how I saw JD. So when I saw JD, um, what I did was 
me just get my pen here for the 15 minutes 15 minutes is a bit overextended right here so this is how the 15 minutes looks like it's a bit overextended we have a huge gap down of at least nine point um, or this price right here which is at the open is more than um, nine percent or my criteria is if it's more than um, three percent then I will look into that so it's gapping down big time what I saw in 15 minutes is huge gap down here but I did not even have the time to do my levels but when I saw in the 15 minutes is this very long wick right here which is profit takers when the profit takers are there this has the potential to go on the upside so very strong at the open but those are just profit takers so what I did was I went long at the top of this candlestick right here so went long here added to my position stop loss here is just below the VWAP um, there's a logical stop loss right there I just don't want to get stopped out and putting my stop loss right here it's too high of a risk that's why I just put my stop loss right here let's see if it's clear in the one minute so this is the one minute right here so entry is at the high of this candlestick right here and the way that is represented here is that the high of this candlestick is the high of this body right here of that five minutes so I entered long there and added to my position it was very strong and the stop loss again here is just below that VWAP and then when I saw that we are heading and have moved already my entry was around 48.15 went all the way to 48.75 so that's already 50 cents so partial here partial partial and when this one because we are now heading to a reversal here this is what we call a reversal reversal is you have the top candle here and this top candle right here was bitten down by this candle by candlestick right here that's why i was all out right here because we are heading for a reversal now once we head to that reversal i went to a different stock to trade just because i know that jd is not um due yet for another trade but when i saw jd that is forming this inverted hammer right here that's when i started to short this one and if I look into the five minutes, the way it looks like is you have the inverted hammer right here. This one is starting to go lower, low, lower, high. So we're heading in the opposite direction. So when I saw that, I shorted it here, added to my position, and then added to my position. And then also I partially it here just because we're heading to the VWAP, moving my stop loss to the break even. And I got stop out right there. But if you see here, we're still heading lower, low, lower, high. So another hammer was here. So I entered short again here, added to my position, and then at this time I was just trailing my stop loss. So I got stop out and it did went below the VWAP and got stop out there. So with that trade to the long side, this move right here, I got 1300 into the short side, just this little bit of a move right here, I got 762. And then the next trade that I did was AMD. What I saw with AMD was um, AMD is also in the daily it was a gap down as well but i saw this hammer right here very strong i based this trade based on what this buy is doing just because i did not really have the chance to do even my levels on the pre-market but when i saw that this is a hammer and the spy is also heading higher so this is what the spy is doing hammer as well so spy is about to beat the vwap so what i did was i took this trade to the long side so when i did that i went long this one was supposed to be an opening range breakout so the high of the one minute candlestick high of this candlestick is right here so perfect entry could have been on this high of this so perfect entry is this level right here but i was a bit late because i was trading jd so i entered here and then this little bit of a pullback which is up still forming a pull flag if i was aggressive i could have had here Now, my break even is right here. So I saw that we do have a pullback right here. I was trailing my stop, so I got stop out here. So very small profit there. Just didn't want it to turn into a red trade. So almost like a break even trade, but I got 80 there just because of that. So entry here, again, it was supposed to be an opening range breakout a bit late. And that's the thing about being late to your entry. Because if I could have entered it here, and then also at this level added to my position because this is a bull flag 
to go up and then I could have made more money on this but because I was late I added it here and did not get to add not until here so my break even is at this level right here around this level so I was trailing my stop so sure enough I got stop out here so with my position I only got $80 there um, so that is the um, AMD trade so AMD trade was almost just a break-even trade and then the last trade was Apple so what I did with Apple was I was looking at SPY SPY is heading higher as well so when I saw what Apple is doing it's reflecting what the SPY is doing so this is the 930 right here we have that consolidation since AMD already had its move I was waiting for a stock that haven't had its move yet so when I saw that we were under consolidation right here I just entered just a bit higher than the BWAP so I entered high here and what I saw here was if this is the body of this previous candlestick this is the five minutes then I would enter long and sure enough and then the stop loss is right there so I entered long which looks like this I entered long here and I'm not confident about this trade so I partial and moving my stop loss and I got stop out right there so it is still under consolidation so I re-entered Apple again so with this this trade right here was a green trade but it was just an under consolidation so the move that I was expecting was still not there so I entered long here I know this one is a bit kind of late but the idea is still that opening range breakout which is the top of this of course I was just entering a little bit early to the party and that's why I needed to have to suffer this pullback so I have this pullback right here so re-entered right here added to my position Okay. At this point, the stop loss is still at that 5 minutes right here. So that 5 minutes right there is 150.2. So that 150.2 is this level right here. So 150.2, this is the stop loss. Stop loss is right here or in 5 minutes stop loss is right there. So added to my um, re-entered, added to my position, building my position here. Added to my position, once it popped, I did partial right there. So I partial right here at 150.9 and trailing my stop to break even and I got stop out. And that's the thing about having a tight stop loss. I did not manage to get this move, which was if I entered here 150.5, that's about less than like around 80 cents there or yeah, around 80 cents. Did not get that move, but did not want to make this as a red trade. That's why I got stop out. So with that, I got uh, 2400. So with that, I am done with my trade. I hope you had a green trading day. And for those of you who are asking how you can start today trade for a living, please check out our website. It's called ecourseunlock.com. And with that website, um, it will have you and we'll, you will see the link there on how to day trade for a living. So we are currently offering a course. It's called Day Trading Unlock. And that Day Trading Unlock, you do have the syllabus right here in our website and we do put the trade recap every week there services that are offered we have more than 35 hours of learning we add to this syllabus every week so learning does not stop and if you just want to have a dab on it and not ready yet for the course then just check the book out uh it's day trading unlock by mary Guzman, now available in amazon so with that if you do have questions, please feel free to email me. My email is mary at ecourseunlock.com. And with that, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.